Hey, if you're still affected with QNAP ransomware, QLocker, then uh, this video might be helpful. Uh, QNAP just now have released a new guide, a new app. They call it QRescue app. It uh, works uh, in combination with Photo Rec app, uh, where these encrypted zip files, um, uh, seven zip files, will be moved to external drive, then they'll be uh, decrypted and um, and then you can move those dr uh, those files back onto your NAS. So you can go to, to find the manual version and go through the text version of this uh, video. You can just go to QNOP uh, tutorials or you can uh, also go and get PDF version or a live um, uh, Google Docs version where they are. You can see people connecting and still updating this manual since it's uh, still fresh and new. But we're gonna just simply go through this guide and um, see what you need to do. So it has uh, five parts. First will be connecting, getting external drive connected. Uh, then the second will be installing an app. Then uh, recovering these zip, fi um, zip files, moving to them to the external drive, and then rescuing them or decrypting, and then moving back to NAS. So first, what you will need, you will need big enough um, external drive, either. If you got a um, USB port at the back, you will probably connect either a docking station where you can uh, put a hard drive, so a hard drive which is big enough to cover the space needed to uh, for these old files you had in your QNAP. So for example, if you had one terabyte of data, you can get a uh, two terabyte hard drive and, and, and uh, recover those files on that. If, you had more than eight or 16 terabytes of data, then it's gonna be slightly more complicated. You will need external drive, which is um, RAID based already. For example, a Kitio, which is RAID 0, for example, or other USB based RAID uh, dance solution. Then you can recover this way. So, or if your volumes were smaller enough, then you can split them into hard drives as well. So let's go through the guide. What you will need to do first is um, to figure out how much space you will need. So you can click on those three dots on the top uh, taskbar, click about, and you will see how many gigabytes or terabytes you got used. Um, so once you have figured out and got your external drive, you'll need to connect that drive and format uh, the drive in ext4 and make sure you name it rescue. No encryption needed, nothing, just uh, get the file system ext4 and uh, and the name correct, rescue. Then make sure that it has uh, read and write permissions. Go to control panel, shared folders and check your USB drive. Make sure it's uh, read and write, just like uh, you would expect on other shared folders as admin. Once uh, that is done, you can save those settings. Uh, what you, you will then notice then a new drive rescue, which is your external drive, will appear in your file station. What you need to do next is create a separate folder, a recap, it's going to be called recap, for each volume you have on your NAS. So if you have only one volume, you can just uh, go into the external drive, which is rescue, create a folder called recap. If you've got 10 um, volumes, then you can have recap 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10, and so on. Um, so you can check how many volumes you got in storage and snapshots. Uh, the settings when you go snapshots storage, then you'll see all volumes listed there. So once you have these folders created, you will need to uh, install this Q Rescue app. You will need to go to download qnip.com, qpkg, qrescue.zip. You'll be able to download. Then go to App Center on your QNAP. Click plus button for manual installation. Uh, select the file you just downloaded and uh, click install. It's going to take a minute to install. Once that is done, you will need to uh, start this photo rec app. Uh, so you open up the app and uh, run photo rec. So type in photo rec and it's going to start uh, the, the wizard in a way. So first thing what you will need to do is detect, uh, provide the source. So select uh, volume one in this case to uh, easy way to figure out in this maze how to which volume is which one is uh, look for cache dev 
and then one, two, three. If you've got uh, three volumes, you can have cache dev one, cache dev two, cache dev three. If you have only one, you can have that one. So select and uh, choose to proceed. Once you have selected that, you can then um, move on to the next part uh, where you need to choose um, what file system it has. Choose ext4, data volume one. And um, in the next step, ext what kind of like group it is, ext2, ext3, which is still under ext4, choose that. And then choose what do you want to recover. You want to recover entire, uh, entire volume, entire disk. So you choose whole. And then you can move on to uh, choosing the destination thing. So uh, you'll need to go and select your external drive. Choose where you want to re recover your first um, volume. So if you've got only one again, it's going to be just recap one. If you've got two, you will need to repeat this press, uh, process until you go through all volumes. So first step will be recap one and then choose um, when destination is um, correct, recap one. And uh, it's going to show you from that point on how long time it's going to take to recover and uh, you'll see the process uh, live happening in the background. So when, you, when you're done, it's going to uh, show you that all files are recovered. You can do Control C to quit. And then the next and last step will be to activate this uh, app, actually this Q Rescue uh, thing. So you again open the app, Q, uh, type in Q Rescue SH. This is going to start this recover, recovery wizard. Then you choose, if you have uh, several volumes recovered, which one you want, <clears throat> which which volume you're recovering from now, first one or second. If you have one, you're probably going to put one and, um, and move on to a uh, sort of information sort of side where it's going to show you what sort of files are there being recovered. It's um, going to take some time to recover, but um, when, once it's done, you can go back to file station and see those files in rescue. So the last, the very last step will be now to move these files back to your NAS. So in this rescue folder, you can choose the right click and move to and choose wherever you want to place these recovered files on your NAS. And, and this is it. If you want um, to have a video version, of the very same things done you can just uh, follow these urls at the top i'm going to also add them to a, a description of this video so you can see how these things are being done live but sometimes maybe it's easier to go through the text guide because then you can you don't need to stop the video all the time these are these are going to be the steps for first one is going to be to create a folder and format the hard drive then uh, run the rescue app which is going to move those zip files to external drive and then how to uh, unzip them restore them and um, how the process is happening and how to move these files back to your nas when it's all completed i hope this was helpful i'm going to put all these links and uh, information in the in description if uh, this was helpful um like this share this if you've got any other questions, you can always go to NASCompares, uh, send email to info NASCompares, or fill the form on the right hand side. And if the questions will be interesting, we can uh, shoot video like this and help others as well. Cheerio.